Icebergs are defined as chunks of ice that are bigger than 5 metres across and have been seen as big as islands. Smaller pieces of ice are known as bergy bits. They are formed when ice breaks up from glaciers, ice shelves or a larger iceberg. This ice is made of fresh water and the process of the ice breaking off is called carving. Most of an iceberg's mass is below the surface of the water. Only about one eighth is visible above the surface. Icebergs found in the Northern Hemisphere have carved from glaciers found in Greenland and Alaska. Icebergs that reach the North Atlantic Ocean originate from around 100 glaciers found in West Greenland. They carve 10,000 to 15,000 icebergs per year. The glaciers were formed from snowfall accumulating over thousands of years and being compressed into ice. Scientists have estimated that from the first snowfall on a glacier to finally melting in the ocean could be as long as 3,000 years. Icebergs found in the Southern Hemisphere have carved from glaciers from the Antarctic continent. The world's biggest iceberg is a piece of ice that broke off the Larsen Sea ice shelf in July 2017 and was about 175 kilometres long and about 50 kilometres wide, which is bigger than Luxembourg. It has drifted about 1,400 kilometres north through an area called Iceberg Alley and in November 2020 was reported to be 500 kilometres away from South Georgia. It is now 150 kilometres long and 48 kilometres wide and is giving some concern about its possible effect on South Georgia's ecosystem. If it grounds next to South Georgia, it has the potential to disrupt the routes that animals use to get to feeding grounds, making the routes much longer. If animals such as penguins and seals have to do a detour to get the food they need to feed their young, there is a risk that their young will starve to death. The iceberg will also scrape along the seafloor and damage the fragile communities that grow there. There is the possibility that it will miss South Georgia and head north into warmer waters and break up. It is being tracked by satellite and only time will tell. If you have any burning questions of your own then do let me know and I'll try and produce a video on it for you.